I'll see when it is live. Good morning, grade ones. How are you all today? Good, I hope you're all doing fine today. I hope you're all awake and ready to learn about numeracy. Right, so those who are new, this is the grade one numeracy class, which starts at eight o'clock. My name is Ro and let's get started. All right, so to the parents, don't forget the Q&A section is on the right hand side of your screen. If you have any questions, please don't um, don't be afraid to type a message through to our host who will be handling the Q&A section. Her name is Melanie. Um, I will leave a few minutes at the end of the lesson to answer any questions that have been asked. All right, boys and girls, so let's get started. Let's have a look and see what date is is it today? Where do we look for the date? Yes, at the teacher's speech bubble. Remember this red block over here is a speech bubble. So what is the date today? Today is the 23rd of April and the year is 2020. Good, so you are going to write the date on the top of your page. Remember, it's the 23rd of April, 2020. Don't forget the capital letter in April. Right, so do that. Remember not to press too hard on your page. And if you make a mistake, don't worry, just rub it out and do it again. All right, so it's the 23rd of April, 2020. Good, so let's have a look and see what are we going to learn about today? The first thing we're going to learn about today is full and empty. So we're gonna find out whether containers are full or whether they are empty. So you are going to tell me the difference, all right? Number two, we are going to learn how to share equally. So we're going to make sure that we're going to share things and make sure that each person has an equal amount so that you have the same amount, okay? And we're going to learn about the number nine and also the number name nine. Can you remember what number we learnt about yesterday? I'll give you a clue. It's the number that comes before nine. Eight, good. Yesterday we learnt about the number eight. And today we're going to learn about the number nine. Good. All right, so let's get started with our morning greeting, as you all know. We're going to revise the days of the week, the months of the year, our counting and counting backwards from 10. So let's start off with the days of the week. Can you remember what day we start off with? Monday, good. What day comes after Monday, boys and girls? Tuesday, well done. And after Tuesday comes? Wednesday, good. And after Wednesday comes? Thursday, good. Don't forget to stick out those little tongues for th Thursday, good. Friday, and then we have the weekend. What two days are the weekend? Saturday and? 
Okay, very good. Now, before we go on to telling me how many days we have in a full week, I want you to see what day comes before Friday. What day comes before Friday? Thursday. Yes, and Thursday is a different color to the other days. Why is it a different color? Because today is Thursday. Well done. Today is Thursday. Good. Now let's have a look and see what day comes in between Monday and Wednesday. So have a look and find Monday. Go have a look and see where's Monday and look where Wednesday is. Now there's a day in between Monday and Wednesday. What is that day? What day comes in between Monday and Wednesday? Tuesday, good. Let's try another one. What day comes in between Friday and Sunday? I'll give you a clue. It starts with the Saturday, good. Saturday is in between Friday and Sunday. Good. All right, so let's have a look and see. Is this orange oval going to tell us how many days we have in a full week? Do you know the answer? Seven. Good. We have seven days in a full week. Can you remember the seven day of the week song? Shall we sing it together? All right, for those of you who don't know the song, show me seven fingers and we're going to wave those seven fingers in the air. All right, it goes like this. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Good. So those are our seven days of the week. Great. Let's move on and see what we've got next. The months of the year. All right. Do you know what month your birthday is in? And do you know what month comes before the month of your birthday? All right, so let's have a look and see. The first month of the year we've got is January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and the last month is December. Good. All right. So let's all do Ro's birthday. Ro's birthday is in March. Can you all see the month March? Okay. So let's find out what month comes after the month of Rose's birthday. Here's March. Come on, cursor. Here's March. What month comes after March? April. And why is April highlighted in yellow? Because we are in the month of April. That's right. Good. All right. Now, which month comes before March? Have a look for March. Yep, there we go. We found March. Which month comes before March? February. Well done. Now go and have a look for July. Go and look for the month July. Good. And now go and find September. Good. Now what month? is in between July and September. 
August. Good. Well done, grade ones. Good. All right. So let's see if this yellow rectangle is going to tell us how many months we have in a year. Are you going to tell me before the yellow rectangle does? What's the answer? How many months are there in a year? 12. Good. Well done, grade ones. Good. All right. So let's get counting. Are you ready? First, we're going to go forwards, starting with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good job. And backwards. Let's go. Don't forget your rocket ship. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, blast off. Good. Well done. All right, let's read our number names. What number name is first? The number name one. Good. Two, three, good. Four, five, Six, seven, and what number did we learn about yesterday? Eight. Good. Do you remember the little rhyme I taught you about the number name? The fatty and the funny and the g h t. Good. So for all our new children, to remember how to write the number name eight. We go a fatty and a thinny and a g-h-t. Okay, so you're going to remember a fatty is e, eh, a big fat elephant, e, eh, elephant. And a thinny, impy ink, e, eh, is thin. And then we've got the g-h-t. All right, so you're going to remember that rhyme. Good. All right, let's go on to our new work today, full or empty. Good. So you are going to tell me whether the containers are full or if they are empty. Let's see what we've got first. Oh no, what have we got here? We've got a rubbish bin and I see there's lots and lots of rubbish in there. I see a banana, paper. What else is in that rubbish bin? Cooling bottle. Hmm, lots and lots of rubbish. And there we've got an, another rubbish bin. Yes. So you're going to tell me, is the first rubbish bin full or is it empty? And is the second one full or is it empty? What's the first one? Is it full or empty? Full. Yes, the first container is full. And the second container is? Good, it's empty. There's nothing inside. Good, all right. So let's have a look. What has this boy got? He's got a jar. And this boy's also got a jar, but what's inside his jar? It looks, it looks like, are those sweets or marbles? Or maybe they those um jelly, jelly balls. What do you call those jelly balls? Love bubbles. Yes, maybe he's growing some love bubbles. So let's have a look at the first boy's jar or container. Is it full or empty? It is empty. Yes, can you see he's opened it and it's upside down. There's nothing inside. So it is empty. Good. And the second boy's jar, is his jar full or is it empty? Full, yes, it's full of, you can decide what's inside, sweets or marbles or love bubbles, whatever you feel that it looks like, you can decide what's in there. All right, so now we all know a little bit more about full or empty. All right, so let's have a look at our number nine. So let's read the number name 
Ah, uh, sorry, grade ones. The number symbol nine is rhyme. A loop and a line make a nine. That one's a bit easy today. Can we all read that and say it together? A loop and a line make a nine. Good. All right, so put your finger pencils up in the air. And I want you to write a big number nine up in the air. So remember, a loop and a line make a nine. Now, don't forget, when you write the number nine, it's not a circle and a line, okay? You continue with your circle, but don't finish it. And you go up and down, okay? So don't lift up your pencil. So let's write the number nine. You're going to write the number nine nine times. So in a row on your piece of paper, you're going to write the number nine nine times. Don't forget to leave a finger space. All right. So you're going to do that now. Write the number nine nine times on your piece of paper. If you don't have a piece of paper or a pencil, I want you to use your finger pencil and write the number name nine up in the air nine times. A loop and a line make a nine. Good. All right, I'll give you a few more seconds to do that. All right, good, well done. Let's move on to the number name nine. Now let's have a look and see what is the first letter of the number name nine? N, yes. Mm. And the next letter is? Yes, E. And the next letter we've got another N. And the last letter is E. All right, so let's write the number name nine below your number symbols. So you are going to write the number name nine below your number nine symbols. There we go. So there it's showing us number nine, the number name nine, and nine fingers. All right, so let me tell you something very interesting. If a word ends with an E, and there is also an E inside. The E changes to I. OK, so let's go and have a look. Can you read what it says on the screen? It says nine. So let's have a look. N, E, N, E. OK, so remember if there's an E, in the word and it ends in an e we don't say e we say i so that says nine nine let's go and have a look at another word what does this say sh uh, n, shin can you read that shin now let's see what happens when we put an E at the end of that word. Remember the E turns into I. So let's have a look and read what that says. Sh I N shine. Yes, the beautiful sun is shining. Shine. Good, so don't forget that. When there's an E in a word, and the word ends in an E, the E turns into I. Okay, so that's something interesting for you today. 
All right, so let's get sharing. How do we share? Here we've got a little boy and a little girl. Okay, you can name these children. I'm not going to give them names. You can decide whether you want to give them names or you don't want to give them names. It's entirely up to you. Okay, you can decide. All right, so let's see what they're going to share. What have we got here? Delicious, juicy oranges. And what other fruit do we have? Bananas. Yes, so we've got oranges and bananas. So now we're going to share the fruit with the boy and the girl. So now some of you are asking, bro, how do we do that? So now let's see and have a look if we can learn how to share equally. All right, so first we've got the boy and the girl and we've got the fruit. Now we're going to share it equally to make sure that they each get the same amount because that is what equal is. Right, so we're going to start with the orange. So one orange for the boy, one orange for the girl. Good. One orange for the boy. One orange for the girl. Now, let's have a look and see. Do we have four oranges right at the top next to the banana? Yes, we do. Now, let's go have a look and see. If you count the oranges next to the boy, and you count the oranges next to the girl. Does that equal to four? Let's have a look. How many does the boy have? Two. Good. And how many does the girl have? Two. And what is two plus two? Four. Good. So there we've got, we've shared the oranges equally. So they've each got two oranges. Good. Now we've got to share the bananas. So you've got one banana for the boy, one banana for the girl. How many bananas do they each have? One. And is that fair? Yes, that is fair because they each have the same amount. Good. So there we've shared the fruit equally. So how many fruit does the boy have? Let's count. One, two, three. So the boy's got three fruit. Let's go and see how many the girl has. One, two, three. So they both have three fruit. Is that fair? Yes, it is. Well done. So there we've got to share. We've shared the fruit equally and they've each got the same amount. Great, so now it's your turn. Let's have a look and see, what do we have here? We've got two giraffes, and what is at the top? It's green, what is that? A leaf, yes, a leaf. And what do giraffes eat? Leaves, well done. All right, so on your page, I want you to write the number one, and on the other side of the page, I want you to write number two. Right, so they're going to be next to each other like my giraffes. So you're not going to draw the giraffe because that's going to take a long time. I just want you to write one. And then next to that, I want you to write two. So instead of the giraffes, you're going to have the number one and the number two. And then at the top, I want you to draw four leaves. I want you to draw four leaves above your number one and two. Good. All right. So let's go and share the leaves. So we've got four leaves and we're going to share it in between the two giraffes. We're going to share those leaves between the two giraffes. So one leaf for giraffe number one. One leaf for giraffe number two. So you're going to draw a line from the leaf to the giraffe, just like it shows you on the screen. Then another leaf for giraffe number one. 
and another leaf for giraffe number two. Have we shared all the leaves on the screen? Yes, we have. So let's have a look. How many leaves did each giraffe get? Did you get the answer too? Well done. Each giraffe got two leaves. Well done, boys and girls. You're sharing nicely. Good. All right, let's try another one. What have we got on the screen? Carrots. Yes. How many carrots have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six. We've got six carrots. Now let's have a look who we're we going to share these with. Yes, we're going to share them with the bunnies, the rabbits. OK, so you are going to write the number one and the number two again. And above the numbers, you're going to draw six carrots. The carrots are a little bit easier to draw than the rabbit. So instead of drawing a rabbit, you can write the number one and the number two. And above the numbers, you're going to draw six carrots. I'll give you a little bit of time to do that. Good. All right. So now you are going to draw the line from your carrot to the rabbit. Good. So I'm not going to do that on the screen because it's your turn and I'm sure you know how to share equally. All right. So I'm going to talk you through it and you are going to do it on your page. All right. So one carrot for number one. One carrot for number two. Don't forget to draw the line from the carrot to the rabbit, but you're going to draw the line from your carrot to your number. All right, we've got more carrots left, so let's go. Another carrot to number one. Another carrot to number two. Do we have more carrots left? Yes, so let's give number one another one. Another carrot to na rabbit number one. And then another carrot to rabbit number two. Do we have more carrots left? No, we don't. So let's have a look. How many carrots did each rabbit get? Three. Each rabbit got three carrots. Well done. So there you've shared the carrots equally between two rabbits. Well done, grade ones. All right, so let's have a look at our takeaway message for today. No one is perfect. That's why pencils have erasers. Can you see the pink eraser or rubber at the top of that pencil? Yes, so no one is perfect. So if you make a mistake, it's OK. You can rub it out and you can try again. All right, so very well done, grade ones. Good job today. I hope you all enjoyed the lesson and I hope you all learned something new today. Don't forget to practice writing your number symbol nine. A loop and a line make a nine. Good. And then don't forget to practice writing your number name nine. OK, and then also when we share, maybe you've got something in your home. You can gather a few things and then you can share it between two people. OK, or if you've got two teddies, you can share your objects between your two teddy bears. OK, Mel, all right. Thank you so much, grade ones. That was great. You can have a lovely day and I'll see you tomorrow at.
eight o'clock. And there is our sneak peek of what we're going to learn about tomorrow. Bye, grade ones, and I'll see you tomorrow. Before we go, parents, are there any questions? Mal, are there any questions in the Q&A? Mel, are you there? Morning, sorry. Have we got any questions in the Q&A? No, we just have someone saying hi. All right, great. Hello to everyone. All right, that's great. Thanks so much to everyone. Thank you so much, parents and children. I'll see you tomorrow at 8 o'clock. Have a lovely day. Bye.